Hello, I'm um, doing a quick video tutorial, kind of how to, about a video game called um, Space Engineers. Uh, picked up on Steam sale and it's been pretty fun, been playing it. But uh, there's not a lot of information out there. Uh, there's some videos, there's a couple guys that have pretty good channels uh, that do how to videos, but even they, they're kind of spotty. They don't tell you exactly what you're looking for. There's a lot of detail to this game. And you can sit there, spend hours Googling through Steam, through Reddit, through YouTube, just looking for that bit of information that you're stumped on. I mean, I'm using Discord to ask people channels, or ask people questions in the Discord channels. So this was one that stumped me. I didn't see a lot of information out there pertaining to this exact bit as a beginner with the projector. So I just wanted to make a quick uh, how-to video, like how do you how do you get it going, right? Um, because that content was kind of missing on the internet. Uh, it was very difficult for me to find. I kind of had to do a little guesswork and figure it out. Once, once you know it, it's like, oh, duh, yeah, of course. But, you know, until you do it or know it, it's, uh, you know, you're just taking shots at the dark. Anyway, um, so in Space Engineers, you have survival, you have creative. And survival, you know, this is my first base here I'm building. I'm making some ships. And creative, you can go in there and, just like any other game, just freely create without having to worry about resources or survival or any of that good stuff. Um, so what you do is you go into creative to learn. I recommend after playing the game for an hour or two, you'll be a little confused. Go into creative, explore, see what the blocks do. Try to build a ship, try to build a rover. You know, just play around. You'll start learning how the blocks interact and how the controls are used and how to create hotkeys. And it's, it's, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty genius, some of the stuff they have in here. Um, it gives you a lot of control and a lot of abilities. It's like uh, Legos on steroids, basically, in space. So it's pretty fun. Anyway, rambling on. Let me get on to projectors. So you go into creative. You build something. Okay, how's that help you? Well, you can blueprint it. You hit F10, you can blueprint things. This is my 40,000 uh, kilo, uh, 40,000 ton banana boat, I called it because it was yellow. It's a large ship. This is my 40,000. I just built this small because I want to actually build it, not just build it in creative and fly around. So I just built this cargo container. My plan is to fly cargo into outer space, and I want to try to get off the planet and go into space now a little bit, see if I can do that. Um, so I just built this real quick, tested it out, tested out the weight limits and, and creative where it doesn't matter. But to port it back, you go into, you save it as a blueprint. To, hit the, to save something, just hit Control b while you're targeting it. Like, if I hit Control b I'd save this whole platform. But, so, to bring it into creative, though, you have to create a projector. Um, so, the projector block, pretty easy to unlock. You can find out how to unlock it in progression. Um, but it's right here, the projector block. Projects an image, so you can build it a little easier. So, the confusing thing is, though, is when you build it and you place it down on the grid, it's large, because these are large grids, so it's a big, large machine, and lar you can only build large things with it. So, if you want to build a small ship when you're starting out, you're building small things. You don't have the resources to build large spaceships. So, I couldn't figure out how to power it, um, but here's the quick and easy. You just put a, uh, you put a landing pad down. Basically, anything, landing pad is your starting point, or landing gear is your starting point to any small block ship. That's, you can't connect small blocks to anything but a landing pad. If you try to connect it to this large grid network here, it'll be a large item. So, um, yeah, so you start there, put the, uh, it needs a power source. So I was trying to like run power through my grid up the thing into the projector, it wasn't working. Yeah, I looked online, they're talking about generators, which you need uranium, which you have to be in outer space first. So I'm like, ah, oh, how do you do it? Very simple, get a battery. Um, plug it in. Now when you first create batteries you do have a little bit of power. You got one little power dot. So you got a quarter of a power of a battery. And I was worried that that wouldn't be enough. And I popped the projector on top of it and it worked. Um, so but the, as far as power draw, if you go in here and battery, I got 224 days before this battery is depleted with the projector. So just making a battery, good enough. You, you're never going to have to worry about it again. You just let it run 24-7. You know, it'll be 20, 124 real-life days until this battery runs out of power on quarter for how much that the uh, projector 
does. So then what you want to do is put a small block on top of the projector, build a little bridge that goes out, and then you go into the projector. And here you have your grid blocks, battery control panel, the landing gear, and there's the projector. Um, you just hit blueprints and it'll bring up what you want. So I, brought, I, I hit my small cargo because that's what I wanted to do. Go back into projector, you have all the projector settings. Um, I highly recommend making this screen. You can go into the options and making it a little transparent or else everything's going to be blocked out and hard to see. Oh, I deselected my ship. I just got it set up to... So anyway, make it transparent so you can see what's going on. Projector, blueprints, small cargo. You'll see it will pop up. Sometimes it doesn't pop up right on your little bridge. It did for me because I had already adjusted it. What you do is you just got to adjust the horizontal positioning, the vertical positioning, the forward and uh, back positioning um, so that it hits your it connects with your bridge because you'll you'll come out here and you go how do I build it what do I do how do, what what is this it's just a hologram but once it connects to that bridge I'll show you uh, should I should have remember what the settings were before I did this because now I gotta fiddle with it again let's see see how it lit up so that means it's good enough I kind of like to have it out on the edge of the bridge a little bit forward offset just so it touches and turns white. There we go. So the reason why you do this is this you'll be able to build this ship and then cut it off and that's kind of how you can maintain it and I don't like that it's touching that base right there. So I'm actually going to build this out real quick. Get rid of this projector. Just move that out of the way. I'm just going to build this out a little further. There we go. Get it to where I'll be able to see kind of what I'm doing. Actually, you know what? Let's get a little smart about this. Since it's hard to see, make it easier to see. Alright, so now fiddle with it again. Get the offset, vertical, stick it right about there. Forward offset. Where yeah, oh it's all in that thing. Horizontal it out a little bit. Yeah, they they really could probably have a better system than that, but it looks like that'll work. That'll attach now. So once it's attached, you see how it's highlighted different? Then you can just start building it. And you'll build it one piece at a time. So that piece is partially built. I can move on to this piece. You know, I need the materials. But um, So then you can just build the whole thing as you designed it without having to try to redesign it. Um, you know, just the way you like it. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, hopefully, you know, whoever's searching, trying to figure out how to do this first time they're playing it, stumbles across this video and it helps you out. Um, I've been having fun. I probably will do a few more videos of this game. There, there seems to be a lot to it. I'm just starting out. I don't know how shallow the game is, but uh, there seems to be a whole lot to it. I'm going to try to get that signal real quick while I'm here. I was grinding some ice right there. I got enough uh, fuel. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go grab this. This is boring stuff. These unknown signals, just to, since I got the video going, I'm heading out. Uh, they give you some supplies. They're great to go fetch uh, in the beginning. Uh, they give you some minor supplies, but they also give you uh, cosmetics. So it's it's nice to run out here. That's really what I want is the cosmetics, not the supplies from it. You come out here, you just push the little button, and you got a chance to get some cosmetics. And there's the little button right there. All right. Badger, badger, badger. Um... Alright, hope the video was helpful. Thank you very much, and goodbye.